Hello everyone and welcome back to another anime figure opening video today. Today we're going to go back to a few prize figures because we've had quite a few of them laying about here for a while and we're going to kick it off by taking a look at our EXQ Rem figure that came out in Japan back in I'm going to say January 2020. She's been out a little while and we haven't had a chance to open her but here we finally are. So let's get straight into looking at this box. So as you can see, we have our Banpresto logo here in the top right corner, and we have a huge picture of Rem on the front. And Rem looks pretty cute here. I like her face. It doesn't really match this kind of armor that she's got going on, but does look adorable. We have EXQ figure there right in the middle with our RE life in a different world from Zero. Uh, down here, we have our ReZero logo and our Bandai logos. And then down here, we have the ReZero information. I do want to highlight though that this is the EXQ figure Rem Volume 4, the Maid Armor version. And the main reason for me highlighting this isn't to show you the Japanese title, um, although it is good to know that it's the Maid Armor version. The Volume 4 I think is quite important because we've opened a lot of these on this channel and I believe, I haven't checked, I, I'm pretty sure we do, we have all four of these up so you can go back and watch them. Um, and it, yeah, they seem to be keep releasing more of these so yeah, I wonder if they'll keep releasing them. Anyway, that's the front. On the side, as always, we have our EXQ figure here. We have a few images of the character. So Rem here looking off to the distance and from behind. Uh, very excited to see this because we've seen that on the original EXQ figure, which was that bikini one, I believe. Let me just quickly get it off the shelf because I'm right next to it. Was this one, the wedding Rem. So that had the bit going in the back there. So I'm thinking it's going to be the same thing here. On the other side, over here, we have EXQ figure again with just a small image of the whole Rem figure there. I don't know why they do that. It seems like a waste of space. Maybe it's artistic. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, again, same Japanese information down there. And then on the back, we have a picture of Rem from behind with our EXQ figure. This time, though, we do have a sticker because we bought this from Amazon and it will not come off. But it does highlight that it is a new product, so that means it hasn't been opened. Also on this side we have our Bandai Spirits address here, so if you wanted to go there you could. And our age warning over here. On the bottom we just have the same old Japanese information that you have seen plenty of times before. And then on the top we just have the EXQ logo here, along with our Jaya Prize. So let's get this open. Okay, in with our knife. So yes, we bought this off of Amazon because we cannot really go to the game center. Um, just to kind of highlight what day we're filming, Japan has kind of allowed us to go back outside now. Um, we were allowed to go out anyway, but now we can go out without that feeling of shame. <laughs> so a lot of the game centers are now open. So I am kind of excited to see what they have and what is new because it's been a couple of months, if there's anything new. Um, so maybe we could take a video going out there. Oh, I wonder. Maybe we can go have a look at the game center. Anyway, we've taken the table. Let's get this open. <laughs> okay, uh, over here we have these QR codes. Uh, this is the way up. So please do feel free to scan those if you wanted to check out when figures are going to get released. And also, I like over here, it just says like, when. It also says what and where can I get it. So yeah, scan this if you want to have a look at the prize navigation or navi, whatever they call it. All right, cardboard open, and what did I expect? Of course, it's a tube of cardboard. Okay, nothing in there. We'll just quickly grab the knife one more time and just slice down here very carefully. And then we'll give this a quick open. And here we go, we just have a lot of separated parts. Wow, it's just separated quite a few parts. Um, all right, let me get this unpackaged and we'll get straight into the review. Okay, stand, and here is our stand. And again, it's an XQ figure, so we don't expect much from their stands. It's just a plain white base. Uh, the base is about a centimeter high. This time there's only one hole with a little bit of a support in there. So the foot was probably one foot that we're going to there. And then on the back, uh, maybe you can see there is a little bit of text in there just saying uh, Kadokawa ReZero Bandai Spirits made in China and so on. So yeah, nothing really special here. So we'll just put you down. And then we have the figure herself. And you know, I just had a quick look at this and this is actually really, really pretty. If a little bit creepy that she's been split in half here. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. 
So what we will do, we will put her into here and just slot her in. It's very simple, um, should be very simple. So you can see that her waist there will then get pushed in. Now it doesn't seem to be going in too well actually, so that's not good. Um, oh, I wonder why that is. How odd. Sorry, let me just quickly do that for off screen because this probably is not very entertaining. <laughs> Okay, we already have our first issue. This is not good because she is not staying in there. You can probably see there's this tiny little gap there. That's because I'm trying to hold it in. As soon as I push it in, it just comes back out. Can you, you can see that, right? So um, already, I don't recommend this. <laughs> I love Rome to bits, but I cannot recommend a figure that does not go together. Now, maybe it's just this one. Maybe this is a one-off where it just doesn't want to fit, but yeah, I'm, pretty disappointed by that so wow what a terrible start okay well let's go into her face so as you can see she has these beautiful blue eyes her nose does stick out a little bit and her mouth is slightly agape she has this wonderful pink detail in there as always just to show some depth and you can also see that her hair at the front here this fringe again it's very pretty it's got a nice solid pattern at the top and it kind of fades down into a clearer plastic at the bottom so that's pretty cool. I do also like that the hair, the fringe part here, everything has been separately molded um, or it's been cut after molding. I'm not too sure how they would have done this. Probably molded this way. Um, so some of these can actually be moved separately, which is nice. What I like about the clear pattern here too is that you can actually see her other eye underneath her hair. So this is something that you rarely get the opportunity to do if it's just a solid color. That's more of the rem we know, but I guess she does have another eye under there. She has her trademark ribbon and her trademark hairband over here, again with that nice clear plastic, and her ears are again nicely detailed below. I feel like it's the same kind of head that we've used or seen before in a previous figure, so maybe they're just reusing stuff, that's uh, not a problem. She has of course her made headband here with the white flowers and the black part going around, which is pretty cool. And on the back of her hair we just have the one strand coming off, again with a solid, um, well big solid part at the top going down into a clearer plastic at the bottom. So that's very, very nice. Okay, and moving down this body, and it's gonna look kind of weird because I'm holding it in from these two points at the side here because there is this huge split still here. Still very disappointed by that. But you can see that she's wearing this very nice metallic bikini top. This must be some kind of silver or iron. You can also see there is a nice kind of detail to it where we have these nice kind of like, I don't know, bumps going over the top and a little bow in the middle. Um, I don't know why you'd ever want to make a metal bow, but it does look kind of cute. You can see that this is tied at the back with a bow with this black ribbon that goes all the way up, so this black strap. On her left arm, so for you this would be on the right, you can see she has this metallic kind of floral armor pad like bit going off the top here. Um, I don't see the relevance of this, but it looks kind of cute. It does give a bit of a uniqueness to this figure because we don't have it on the shoulder, which as you can see is nice and bare. I must also point out, this plastic looks quite shiny. This isn't because I have greasy fingers, my fingers are actually pretty good today. <laughs> um, but it is kind of greasy, so that's a shame. You can see that she's got these metallic bands on both of her arms here, so those are very interesting. And then she has these really cool gauntlets. This is probably the first great highlight here. We can see that they have this beautiful floral pattern, floral design kind of inside, nicely armoured here. You can see that these go all the way down to her hand and actually it's nicely cut off so her hand and wrist would be able to move. And she's got these nice little black gloves on. And again, each finger nice and separately uh, molded. So that's pretty cool. There is a little bit of armor there on her elbow too. So that's nice as well. And it's got this nice floral pattern too. You can also see from behind, and again, I have to turn this around really carefully. We can see that she's got this metallic strap around here keeping her bikini on. And there is a little kind of black bit going underneath. So that is probably because she doesn't want to have metal on her bare skin. Um, and again, we can see that a little bit here at the front too. And we also can see that she's got her belly button there with the top part of her, well, what should be her maid dress, but also with these kind of armored shield bits on her hips. And look, it's already falling apart. Look at that, that sucks. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, but anyway, right, I'm kind of lost here. <laughs> so that's the top half of our rem. And moving down the body, as you can see, she is still wearing her maid skirt. Now this skirt is extremely short. This is way shorter than most maid skirts. 
And for all you pervs, I will give you a pan shot later, so don't worry. But you can see that we also have this nice apron here at the front of her maid outfit with some nice, very rough kind of ruffles going along around here, actually. There is also this black line here, which you can't really see. So because the top really doesn't want to work, we'll just show you that anyway. So down you go. And yeah, it's got this nice like black strap here. And then the ruffles go all the way around the edge of the skirt itself. And I do like that this has some very natural looking folds, so it doesn't look like it's just kind of put there for the sake of being put there. These actually look like they would flow this direction. And um, so that goes all the way around, um, as you can see. We do also have these three holes at the back because we also have this to put in at the end. So I'll highlight that before we put it in. So don't go thinking that this is just butt ugly. And again, that is a throwback to that rim figure. <laughs> But moving down the figure, you can see that she's wearing thigh-high stockings, and both of these have black straps and bows at the top, so that's pretty cool. But I think my favourite part of this figure, and uh, yeah, you can probably tell I've been disappointed by quite a bit, are these boots. I look at these! I don't know if you guys are very interested in Greek mythology, but I love these wings. These remind me very much of Hermes, the messenger god from Greek mythology. So um, it's as if she can fly or give messages. I mean, that's just so pretty. Look at that, it's beautiful. And um, it's got this beautiful kind of shielded pattern on the front of her knees, so that's pretty nice too. And moving down, we can see there are a few layers here as her legs will be moving and actually bending. So I think that's quite nice. Um, on the other leg, this one is actually kicking up at the side. So this is the leg that will go into the stand. So it would look a bit like this uh, with a body on top, if it would stick. And going down here, as you can see, we have these boots. And again, they have a nice little bit of detail with a big point at the end. Um, so a lot of layers going on here. And we also have the little bit that go into the stand. And just to highlight over here as well, so we can see the base of the sole of this boot. The heel comes up quite nicely. It's quite flat. Um, if it was a boot, it looks like it would actually work. So I guess more like that. <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, it's very pretty uh, on both sides, actually. So cool. All right, she's kind of lost it a bit here because the other half is down here. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep repeating this. That is so disappointing that that does not want to stay in. Look at that. But anyway, we have that little piece over here that we need to highlight. So let's have a quick look at this. So very much like the previous EXQ Rem figures, they came with this little bit at the back where it would go into her waist. Uh, this looks pretty cool. Um, and actually, this is a very rubbery uh, very rubbery plastic so you could bend it as much as you wanted to so that's kind of interesting this is completely see-through although it does have a nice kind of blue tint to it and it's all very nicely folded so it is originally one piece of rubbery plastic so that's cool it's extremely malleable so that's quite interesting it does also have this nice pretty bow pattern at the top here so that would go into her hips or the back of her waist the nice little central bit there and we have these three little pointy out bits that will, of course, go into her body. So, if we can, <laughs> let's try and get that into there very quickly. Okay, and that fits quite nicely. It fits much better than the actual figure fits together, so I'm kind of impressed with that. Um, so that's very nice, very pretty. If we come back around to the front, now you can see what she would look like in her full attire. So, gorgeous looking Rem, minus the weird split. <laughs> But of course, I know some of you are here for the pants shot, so if you don't want to see that, please do skip to the time at the bottom of the screen. Oh god, I nearly lost the top of the figure there. Um, wherever that is. <laughs> but for all of you perverts, here we go. So the front is quite hard to see, but it is just a solid white plastic there. Uh, but you can actually see a little bit more here at the back. You can actually see her backside there with some white pants going in the middle. Um, there's not too much detail. Well, there's no detail at all there, yeah, so um, nothing really. So uh, sorry to disappoint you, but I will show you from now on. So there you go. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> but OK, let's turn this back around. And put you back in because you won't fit. OK, so welcome back everyone that skipped forward. Although I'm probably sure some of you didn't skip forward. You might be kind of interested. So let's just quickly get her into her stand. OK, and here she is in her stand. And minus the huge issue of it not sticking together. This is actually a very nicely detailed figure. I mean, I am quite impressed with the amount of love that has gone into this. You can see that there is a lot of nice design choices here. It's just a shame that, ah, it's broken. <laughs> I 
and so I might have to super glue that. But regardless, I would like to give you all a few pretty shots of this figure. So let's take a look. Okay, and let's put you on the shelf. Today we're only going to come over to here, which isn't very far at all, I know, um, because we don't really have too much space. Um, and you can see with that thing, that little back bit of plastic, it doesn't really want to fit. So you'll do that for now. But yes, very nice figure. It's just a shame that we have that weird split. So I'm um, disappointed with that. But overall, I mean, you can see that this is just very, very pretty. So. Uh, Anyway, thank you all very much for joining. Uh, we do have a very special figure coming very, very soon, and it's linked to this, and I'm sure some of you have probably seen it already. Um, maybe you will also see this beautiful poster that was one of the prizes we won when we got it. Very pretty. But uh, please look forward to that, and of course, many, many more figure openings coming very, very soon. So, love you all, and bye! Whee!